So now let's talk about if statements in Python. So if statements evaluate conditions and determine next steps. It's conditional logic, it's flow. So here's one example of an if statement. If it rains, I need to grab my raincoat and put that on. Or I could say, if it rains, grab my raincoat, but if that's not true, wear my t-shirt. I'm gonna go down to the else in that scenario. Else, if it's not raining, grab my short sleeve t-shirt. Maybe to take this one step further and to use some of the Python keywords here, maybe I'll add not just one condition, but a couple possible conditions to check. If it's raining, grab my raincoat. But if that's not true, or if that's not met, else if it's cloudy, grab my long sleeve t-shirt. And if neither of those pre previous conditions are true, move down to the else, that's the else um, situation, just wear my t-shirt. Maybe it's in a place that doesn't snow, and if it's not rainy and cloudy, it's typically sunny, and I can wear my t-shirt, okay? So um, an L if stands for else if in this scenario. It's adding an additional condition to our if statement, and we're gonna see that when we jump over to Python. So let's do that now. Let's go look at some Python uh, if statements. So if you wanna follow along with this code, a link will be found on the page. So let's look at our first if statement. Okay, so what we're gonna say is we're gonna set a variable called score equal to 75. And then we're gonna say if that score is greater than or equal to 60, we're gonna print you passed. Now what's important to note here, just in terms of syntax, is that after the if line, you see that colon, okay? And we know that in this case, that condition is met because our score is 75, which is greater than or equal to 60. So what should happen is it should print you passed. And notice also that after the if, this next line is indented. Remember, indentation is really important in Python. Okay, so I'm gonna try to run this using control enter, and it says you passed. Okay, that, that's exactly what we were expecting. Our score was greater than or equal to 60, and so it should have printed you passed. Now let's look at the next one. Let's say our score, let's set it equal to 45. It's a test score or something. And the if is going to say if the score is greater than or equal to 60, again, we've got a colon after this. If that's met, print you passed. But we also want to have an else condition if that passing score isn't achieved. So if it's less than 60, which we know is true in this case. So else, and again, that's got a colon after it, print you did not pass. Okay, also notice in the syntax, we got indentations after the if and after the else lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and I would expect that it's gonna print you did not pass because my score was less than that, uh, what was in that condition. So I control enter, run this and yeah, it says you did not pass. Now let's try one more thing here. We're gonna implement a few conditions. So you can have more than just one. And so we're gonna still stick with the test score. And we're gonna say, if our score is greater than or equal to 90, print your grade as an A. If that's not met, check this next condition, which is it's in between 80 and 90 roughly, okay? If that condition is met, the grade is a B. If neither of the first two conditions are met, let's try the third condition, 60 to 80 roughly. And if that's true or met, print you passed. And if neither of those, none of those conditions are met, else, we'll go to the else, and we'll print you did not pass. And again, also remember, notice the indentation and after the if, elif, and else lines, we've got a colon. So we wanna make sure we get that syntax right. And the score is 81, which looks like would mean that this second condition is met. So I should expect that my grade is a B, and that's what would be output here. So I'll hit control enter, run this, and yeah, so I get your grade as a B. Let's try something else here. Let's try um, to use and and or. Okay, so let's say that um, we've got three variables, x, y, and z, and they have different values, 25, 30, and 30. And in our if, what we're gonna say is we're expecting two things, two conditions to be met in this one case. So if x is less than y, and it's less than z. Okay, so I, both of those have to be met, okay, for it to print that result in the next line. So I know that x is 25, and it's only less than one of those. So I would expect that nothing happens here because we don't have an else or some other 
um, operation we're going to take. So what I'm going to do is try to run this with control enter. And yeah, nothing gets printed because both of the conditions have to be met at the same time. Only one of two were met. And if we were to change this to say, or, okay, is X less than Y or is it less than Z? If one of those conditions are true, then we're good. Let's try that. And yeah, there we go. Okay, it's not, X is not really the lowest number in this case, but because only one of the conditions is true, but uh, you get the idea. So, and both of the conditions have to be met and or just one of them.